Mixed reality is huge right now, thanks to headsets like the MetaQuest Pro, the HTC Vive XR Elite, and many more on the way. We've also seen a rise in mixed reality games from both independent and established game studios. First of all, what is mixed reality and pass-through? Mixed reality combines both real-world and virtual assets using the cameras on the front of your headset. Basically, it brings elements, uh, games, what have you, seemingly into your real space. Pass-through is the feature that allows you to see your real-world surroundings using the cameras on your headset. You may have seen developers or other content creators recording that black and white, or maybe color if it's the MetaQuest Pro, uh, captures from their games. But how? Unfortunately, you can't do this natively on the Quest 2, as Meta blocks you from doing it for privacy reasons, although it seems to be fine on the MetaQuest Pro. If you do try it using the Quest's built-in recorder, you simply get a sad, empty black screen where your room would be. Anyway, if you're a Quest 2 owner and you want to be able to record your pass-through experiences, this video is for you. I'll also mention a sprinkling of games I recommend at the end of this tutorial. The current best and most well-known way of recording Quest 2 pass-through is by using screen copy, which is conveniently built into the popular app SideQuest. It's worth noting, however, that unfortunately there's currently no way of recording game audio with this method. You might be able to get audio working if you buy something like a wireless transmitter and receiver. However, it can be a bit pricey, and I personally haven't had a need for this yet. But I'll tell you what, if there's enough interest in it, and if this video can make enough ad revenue to cover for it, I'll buy them, I'll test them, and I'll make another tutorial. Anyway, in order to use SideQuest and its features, including screen copy, you'll need to enable developer mode on your Quest, but don't worry, you don't have to be an actual developer in order to do this. Since a lot of you probably already have SideQuest, I'm going to skip this step since I already have mentioned how to set up SideQuest and enable developer mode in a different video, which you can find somewhere up here. Make sure you create a SideQuest account and download the advanced installer. There are more operating system options should you need them if you click Show More. Connect your Quest 2 to your PC via a link cable or honestly just a USB-C cable and turn on your Quest. Make sure that the circle shows up as green in the top left of the SideQuest app. On the top menu bar you'll find a Wi-Fi symbol option which you can use to be tetherless while recording your video. However, make sure you have a very good Wi-Fi connection if you decide to go this route, otherwise your video quality might be low. With your Quest connected to SideQuest, on the top right of the menu bar, you'll see an icon that looks like a TV with a play button on it. After clicking on that, you'll see settings you can change, such as bitrate, crop, and max FPS. If you're using a Quest 2, make sure that you select Quest 2 Crop before you click Start Stream. After clicking the Start Stream button, a new window will pop up showing your headset view. There are a couple of different ways to activate pass-through mode on your Quest 2. First is through the Quick Settings button. Simply click the time on your Quest menu, then click the pass-through button. The second way is by enabling the double tap option. This can be done by going to Settings, Guardian, General, then turn on the toggle. You may have to restart your headset for this to take effect. From here, you simply have to rapidly tap either the left or right side of your headset twice to switch between your virtual environment and pass-through. Finally, you can simply open your mixed reality game. Some start by default in mixed reality, others have buttons or menu options you need to navigate to to activate it. This varies from game to game. Now that you have the screen copy window open, you need a way of capturing it in order to record it or stream it. For this, you can use OBS Studio or Streamlabs. Near the bottom of your recording software, under Sources, you'll see a plus sign. Click that to add a new source. Select Game Capture, rename it whatever you want. Then under Mode, select Capture Specific Window, and then select ScreenCopy.exe. You should now see the Screen Copy window in your scene. You might have to move the window around and resize it to fit the canvas. From here, you can start recording or streaming and you're all set. Now that you know how to record, here's a couple of my favorite mixed reality games. There are many more out there and many more that are currently being developed, so let me know your favorites in the comments below. Keep in mind some of these games will require a couple of extra Guardian steps to assure that they work properly with the game, such as outlining any walls and furniture. Not to fear, however, because these particular games will show you how to do this pretty well. You might already be familiar with the I Expect You To Die series. The team at Shell Games decided to make an experimental mixed reality experience under the same IP. I Expect You To Die, Home Sweet Home is a free title that puts you in the shoes of an elite secret agent. Use your wits to solve puzzles, disarm traps, all from the comfort of your own room. 
Blast On is a now free VR shooter game that puts you in an intense virtual arena with AI or other players. The game offers multiple weapons like laser blasters and plasma rifles to use in a fight to be the last one standing. You can customize your character with skins and accessories and pit yourself against friends or strangers in intense online battles. Blast On is an adrenaline filled, fast paced shooter that is sure to keep you on your toes. Dungeon Maker allows you to make a dungeon out of your own home, including various traps and items, procedurally generated plot, treasure, and more. Trap types include a variety of slashing, crushing, and other deadly types, as well as a lava floor. Find quest items around your home, such as waypoints and keys that open doors. Dungeon Maker also features a save load system to save your dungeon map creations. Spatial Ops is a title by Resolution Games that is currently available on SideQuest. Create barriers to be used against other players in the same area as you, or fight enemy AI. This competitive multiplayer shooter is really fun, easy to set up, and comes with an in-app map editor to truly customize your battlefield. I hope this video helped some of you out there, and maybe one day I'll try those wireless transmitters in order to get audio to also come through with screen copy. But until then, as always, keep on creating and never lose that drive to improve. I'll see you on the next one.